Hi, I am Engineer Shahzad Khan and you are watching Civil Engineering Easy YouTube channel. Today we will discuss about the centroid and we will learn how to find the centroid of composite structure. Centroid or center of mass is the average position of all the points within the object. Centroid is also called geometrical center. Centroid is the unique point within the object from that point to the left, right, top and bottom of that point the area and volume should be equal. The center point of 2D geometrical shape is the centroid of that object. Like the center of rectangle is the centroid of rectangle. Similarly, the line joining within the center point of the triangle is the centroid of triangle. In order to find out the centroid of an object, the reference axis is very important because all the distances are calculated with respect to the reference axis. In order to find out the area of composite structure that is T in shape, we need to find out the area A1 and 2. Area A1 will be equal to 30 multiplied 10 that will be equal to 300 square mm. Area A2 will be equal to 70 multiplied 10 that will be equal to 700 square mm. X1 is the distance along X reference exists toward the center of area A1. That will be equal to 30 mm plus 10 divided by 2 that is equal to 35 mm. X2 is the distance along X reference exists toward the centroid of area A2 that will be equal to 70 divided by 2 that is equal to 35 mm. According to the movement equation method, x bar will be equal to a1 x1 plus a2 x2 divided by a1 plus a2. By putting the values into the equation, x bar will be equal to 300 multiply 35 plus 700 multiply 35 divided by 300 plus 700 x bar will be equal to 35 mm. That is the composite centroid along x axis. For the composite centroid along y axis, y1 is the distance along y reference axis toward the center of area A1 that will be equal to 30 mm divided by 2 that is equal to 15 mm. y2 is the distance along y reference axis toward the center of area A2 that will be equal to 30 plus 10 divided by 2 is equal to 35 mm. According to the movement method, y bar is equal to a1 y1 plus a2 y2 divided by a1 plus a2. By putting the value into the equation, y bar will be equal to 300 multiply 15 plus 700 multiply 35 divided by 300 plus 700. y bar will be equal to 29 mm. So the combined composite centroid of the given object is x bar is equal to 35 mm and y bar is equal to 29 mm. Here is the summary of today's lecture. The overall calculation is summarized in table. Table for x bar and y bar. Thanks for watching. For the upcoming video updates, please like and subscribe the channel.